Hey guys, it's Tiff back again to talk more about Celsius. We're going to go over some breaking news, some bankruptcy filings, as well as a potential timeline for when we might expect to get some of our crypto back from Celsius. So first off, a few days ago, the UCC or the Unsecured Creditors Committee posted their official mission statement. The UCC is essentially a group of seven people who have a ton of money trapped in Celsius and have a fiduciary responsibility to act in our best interest and to maximize the recovery of our funds. I'm going to try to be as concise as possible so we don't waste time, so let's get right down to the important bits, their main objectives. Firstly, to ensure that Celsius is effectively safeguarding our assets since they obviously did not do so prior. Secondly, the UCC will oversee Celsius's efforts to develop a viable business plan moving forward, one that reduces their overhead and preserves their limited cash reserves. Third, the committee intends to thoroughly investigate the pre-petition conduct of Alex Mashinsky and other Celsius insiders and to prosecute any sorts of misconduct. Fourth, the committee will help to formulate a plan for either the reorganization of the business or the sale of the business and its assets in order to maximize value for us as depositors. Importantly, the committee has stated that they've been listening to our concerns and that they're striving to ensure that we receive as much of our funds back as possible in kind. In other words, in crypto rather than in US dollars or in fiat currency. This would likely be preferable for most of us since we're in a bear market, so it would suck to receive the US dollar equivalent of the crypto prices right now. Lastly, they said they'd maintain open and transparent communication with us, unlike Celsius. So they said they'd keep us updated about key developments, the claims filing process, as well as give us points of contact if we have any concerns. They've set up an email address as well as a Twitter account, which I will include right here and also probably leave in the description box down below. Anyways, the UCC is already taking action for us. Yesterday, they filed an objection to Celsius's request to sell mined Bitcoin and monetize it. So initially, Celsius filed a motion to vaguely monetize their mined Bitcoins without providing any transparency about their numbers or how exactly they plan to deploy those assets. For example, did they just want to sell the Bitcoins to cover their mining costs, to pay out debtors, or did they just want to throw the Bitcoins into another risky investment which worked out so well for us in the past? So the UCC is essentially objecting and asking Celsius to disclose their numbers. What are their margins? What are their expenses? Where exactly is all the crypto being held? Show us your accounting. So just to be clear, the UCC is not objecting to Celsius selling Bitcoin in order to cover their mining expenses. They're basically just asking for transparency so that they can deem which of these sales and which of these monetization methods is actually necessary or not. Next, I'm assuming that many of us did not thoroughly read the terms and conditions prior to sticking our money into Celsius. But recently, Alex Mashinsky was ordered by the court to provide all changes and variations to the terms and conditions since February 2018. So a filing was released a few days ago containing over a thousand pages of all of these changes to the terms of use over time. So these will be combed over in court to see whether or not any of these changes were made without our consent or our knowledge. Next, allegedly Alex Mashinsky recently cashed out over $28,000 worth of sell token, really just taking advantage of all of those sell short squeezers. What a fucking bitch. In other news, according to an article by Reuters, apparently Ripple Labs, the company behind XRP, has expressed interest in buying some of Celsius's assets. None of this has been confirmed, it could just be FUD, but I do wonder how the potential sale of our assets would affect our ability to receive our crypto back in kind rather than in US dollars. I don't actually know, so if someone would know how that would work out, please let me know down below in the comments. Okay, and last but not least, when can we expect to see any of our funds back from Celsius? If you've been following the Celsius disaster for quite some time, you've probably heard of Simon Dixon, who recently posted a potential timeline for how this all might unfold. In his Twitter thread, he writes, People keep asking me when Celsius network creditors will get their money back. My best guess, in the next two months, there may be liquidity where you can sell your claim on an exchange if you're willing to accept 25% of your claim in US dollars, and it may take a further month to arrive. I believe in six months from now, you may be able to settle with Celsius network and receive 50% paid in crypto but it could go through several rounds of objections on how to get paid in kind, and you may get paid in nine months at best. I don't believe crypto long can happen compliantly and will be objected by regulators for another three to six months, causing delays, so in nine months, the Celsius UCC, creditors, and court may accept crypto in kind plus equity or cash top-up if another bidder can demonstrate compliance. If they accept cash buyer, it may give you a maximum of 10% extra in US dollars on top of your 50% crypto in kind nine months from now as the Celsius network hole is so big. 
My best guess is this happens if a cash buyer is willing to pay 300 million of the potential $3 billion missing in crypto. If they accept equity in nine months, then in two to three years, that company may go public or have a secondary market on Bank to the Future and either be worth little, make you whole on a secondary market, or produce a very large high risk, high return for you through an IPO with a 10x goal. He notes that this is all speculation based upon my experience being involved in most of the major recovery plans and being a shareholder in over 100 companies in crypto over the last decade. I could be completely wrong. So please take that timeline and those estimations with a grain of salt. This is all obviously speculation and no one really knows what's gonna happen. I just wanted to share Simon Dixon's thoughts on the matter since he's been a thought leader in the space since the beginning of this fucking disaster. So lastly, important upcoming dates. The second day hearing was recently moved to August 16th, unless it gets delayed again. A meeting between Celsius and creditors, which includes us, is intended to be held over the phone on August 19th. And the official debtor schedules of assets and liabilities should come out on or before August 29th. And I discussed that in my previous video, but look for your name on there. If you don't see it and you did not receive emails from Stretto, then you're gonna need to file a claim, which I addressed in my previous video. Anyways, I hope that everyone is doing okay out there. It's obviously been a really difficult time, but I just hope that you know that you're not alone. We're all in this together. And if you need someone to talk to, I'm always here if you wanna reach out to me. I try to respond to all of the comments down below and any of my messages that I do see. Also, I hate that I have to include this now, but please be wary of scammers in the comments down below pretending to be me, as well as fake social media profiles, messaging you, potentially asking you for money. Um, I will never do that. Just don't want anyone to get scammed after what happened with Celsius. Uh, I hope you're all doing okay. I love you so much. I think about you all the time. Love you. Bye.